Uh, what are Tone Wars? But yes, Glenn, Tone Wars. Talk to me. What is it? Yes, I'm in. Absolutely. Uh, uh, my ears are getting a little burnt out right now, but... There we go. Um, that's not to say that my sanity is uh, any less diminished. <laughs> These, that should all be up on vocal one. And that lot should be on vocal two. <laughs> Reply to my email. <laughs> uh, uh, I didn't see an email from you, my good man. Uh... You emailed me about it weeks ago. I didn't see it. Um, I'm going to send you guys a, a separate message because I haven't seen anything. I don't think. Absolutely would have jumped on that. Uh, I mean... Uh, Uh, I got an email from Alex, uh, March 23rd, I responded with yes, absolutely, uh, and then, yeah, should be hearing from Glenn, and I've not had anything since. So yeah, something's gone awry somewhere, uh oh, uh, if you would be so kind as to send that to me again, uh, I will jump right on that. Oh dear. Yeah, the old. messy so I'm gonna have it trigger there Until the end, I can't be honest, I can't Until the end, your voice is screaming out, you Until the end, you stand alone, scream is the Getting closer to this song coming together. Is my course online or is it like a download thing? Yes. Uh, I think it's both. Uh, it's through the Produce Like a Pro system. I think you can use a web player, but it's all downloadable.
that needs to come down because that's dominating. Until the So the band are called A Poetic Yesterday, or APY. They're currently on hiatus, but I recorded this album's DIs and the performances and everything nearly 10 years ago. So I thought I'd visit it and uh, see how I'm doing. Okay, at this point, the kick and snare aren't quite cutting for me, and I think it's to do with the samples I've chosen. Mm. There's a couple of grooks in there, a couple of... Uh, I think I need to set a minimum velocity on this. That'll stop a lot of the mess. What about sledge kick? Let's just get an EQ on this. That needs some EQ. And there's the, the room which isn't doing much anymore. Need some serious EQ on that. That needs to be a lot louder. There we go. So for samples, sorry, I'm just going to quickly see if I can just make the top end a little clear in my headphones just because I'm a little tired I need and yeah the the drums were uh, if that's the first time you've noticed I'm really impressed uh, but yeah it was all recorded through a Roland uh, drum kit with mesh heads on and really nice it was played by the drummer but yeah it's all Stephen Slate drums uh, with some Andrew Wade drum shots from the Joey Sturgis uh, drum forge yeah it's a combination of good natural sounding drums, the right sweeteners, 
and a real performance is the main thing. Yeah, they're all played, and that's what makes things like this section. Who would program a ride symbol like that? It's the way it feels. It's... I mean, it might have been a little more delicate played on a real ride, but the means we had available at the time were that, and we got half decent tones. It's interesting comparing a song where we've got our new drums. With one where I'm gonna have to work on. That's the original drums. Uh, which on a couple of songs are baked down. So I'm going to have to do a couple of clever tricks to bring some life out of them now. So I'm going to use air. I'm going to use earth. That's really changed the drum feel from that which is okay to that which really slaps. And then use the monster. Oh, only a little bit. And that's the best I'm going to do. And then I'm going to leave the Nevi Q in there and just blend it to taste. Can you hear So on 10, what, well, nine of the songs, I have the original MIDI. So I've been able to go back, add Stephen Slate drums, which I was using Superior at the time. So I've got my new sounds, but two of the songs, for whatever reason, when we saved all the backups of the project, we didn't end up with the MIDI for the drums. So those two songs, which are William Bill Cooper and Takedown, you will see instead of the MIDI drums, there are wave files. And those wave files, Ah, uh, all I have. So now I've got to try and roughly match that. And that's the, the drum group mixed from the original. The toy slam to stare in his eyes to see him. He barely flies. Very different drum kits.
go. That's how humans play. Humans don't smack symbols at 127. So let's go back before the money and your war when the makes your heart beat like snare. You want more? I'll take that lonely road. It's paved with all your gold, but time heals all. So hold on tight or you fall. Sing it. Right, that's supposed to be another Tom. Uh, just gonna move all these up on this performance. Now, why is it right there? It's all perception. hear them in the mix that well well that's mixing it does a lot of white noise high frequency information in a, an under snare and this this particular snare is not tuned or like you said appropriate for the genre to have a big kind of thing going on on the under snare it would just confuse the mix and would not sound nice uh and yeah from a drummer's perspective you might like that i'm not mixing from a drummer's perspective i'm mixing from a mixer's perspective I don't mix guitars like a guitarist would mix them. I don't mix drums like a drummer would mix them. I don't mix any of these instruments like the person playing them would mix them because that's more me syndrome. That's what happens. A mix is supposed to be a blend of what works overall. And it's a philosophy you have to adopt. You have to abandon your personal preferences if you want a mix to come together because that's not how it works. And I wish it was because it would make my life easy. Let's start from the start again. Yeah, it's got a very epitaph kind of sound, that.
So out of interest, I'm just going to not put this to the master and copy restream onto here. Uh, so let's just see if you can hear this. Uh, and also I'll send this out of my output so I can hear it. Because that would be nice. But that by doing this, this is actually a nice trick uh, for checking references without using your master bus processing. Uh, which is untick the master on a send, uh, send it straight out of the hardware and then it won't go through your master bus and then obviously it won't go on your renders either. It's got flagged. Huh? I didn't see it. Uh, so let's have a listen to this. This was my old mix. Oh, is it doing that ip 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 thing? Oh, well, there's, there's only... What I can do instead, then, uh, let's do the thing. It might be because it's trying to send two streams. Uh, let's just see. Can you... If I just bypass them, can you hear this? Are we back to normal? Have we fixed it? I know there's some lag on the stream, so if anyone can let me know if just taking that other copy of Restream off has sorted everything. Yes, all good, right, okay. So this was the original mix. And then with the new mix plus process. And this was what we've got. Neither of these are masters, by the way. So there's a level difference, but I mean, considering that took me weeks, if not months, to put that mix that you just heard together, and this one I've done today, um, I don't think we got quite as far as I wanted to today, but it is the 12 hour and 20 mark, and I'm going to call victory on this. We have essentially mixed an album in a day. Uh, what I'm probably going to do at some point next week is uh, give my ears a, breath, a rest now and do another stream uh, next week, which is going to be just polishing the mix and then more importantly, looking at the art of mastering. So, hi Anna and thank you very much. Uh, it's been a wild ride, but yeah, uh, one last uh, mention before I go of the ultimate reaper course. Uh, this is what we're celebrating today uh, for everybody who's not noticed uh, or not been aware, I should say. Sorry, I'm really getting tired now. Uh, this is the biggest event of the last couple of years, arguably for me, apart from going to Nam and actually meeting Glenn and Warren in the flesh. Uh, which was brilliant. Uh, yes, uh, this 12-hour mix stream has absolutely taken it out of me, so I'm going to go and enjoy another Budweiser on the sofa in tears and a headache. <laughs> and, yeah, if you want to know all the stuff that I can do in Reaper, I have made a very, very, very extensive course, and I am absolutely thrilled to share it all with you. It's all in 4K. It's all super high detail. Uh, we talk tracking guitars, mixing, drums, MIDI all of it 
everything, every shortcut you've seen today and more, but actually stopped and explained and gone through properly because I'm not trying to mix something in 12 hours. I'm actually, I think it's something like a nine hour course at the moment, but it's sections broken up where I talk about things that demystify the whole Jackie Chan thing. And yeah, the uh, multi-tracks for the session that we actually record in the course are all included as our sessions. And yeah, it's been one hell of a stream. Thank you everybody for tuning in, uh, GG. It has been epic and I am very grateful for you all tuning in. It's been an absolute blast. And I know there are better American beers, but that's what happened to be in the fridge. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, nice ales that should be arriving uh, on Mon no, Tuesday because it's a bank holiday. Ugh, that sucks. But yeah, I'm going to go and have a beer and curl up and not die. And I'll see you all very soon, I'm sure. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. It's been an absolute blast. And I'm now talking in circles. So I will see you. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, I will see you uh, and catch it on the, the VOD catch up. There's going to be the podcast on Thursday. I'm going to be releasing a video on my channel probably tomorrow about uh, things that I like about Reaper specifically because that's already been filmed. And yeah, I will see you all very soon. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out our other videos as you can find here or check out our Facebook and Twitter or our Patreon page, which helps us to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.